Once you've downloaded the Reset Import Installer, you'll run through the installation and make sure it's pointing to the correct data directory. The Reset Import allows users to import in a Reset 3D model and their end reactions into SDS2, making it easier to collaborate with engineers and get a head start on modeling. Once inside modeling, in the Toolbox ribbon, there is now a Reset Import. You can import in a .r3d file extension that has the exported RISA 3D model. And you have the option to also import in the end reactions, which will be a text file generated from the new RISA 3D release. I want to process this after the import so that it designs all my connections from the RISA model, the end reactions that were imported, and my setup. When you import in the end reactions, you have the control of what will be transferred across from RISA to SDS2. If your shear loads are less than 0.1 kips, then you typically would want to ignore those and use the auto shear loads designed from SDS2. The same would go for the axial loads. You would typically want to ignore loads that are less than 0.1 kips for the tension and compression and just use the auto axial loads. If you do want to include those loads, then set your threshold for zero for the shear and axial loads and it'll bring over the exact loads from RISA. Moving down to the default moment beam connection information. My threshold for the moment load in kip inches is set to 10. So anything below 10 kip inches for the moment load will be ignored and no moment will be applied. If anything over the 10 kip inches, it will transfer over the moment and I can determine what type of moment connection I want it to be. I have the option for a welded moment, bolted moment, or I can choose not to bring a moment across. I'm going to go ahead and set this to a bolted moment. Now that I have that set, then I can have the option for a clip angle, end plate, shear plate, or a fully welded moment connection. And I'll just leave this as a clip angle. Now I'm ready to import my model and my end reactions into SDS2. The model's now been processed and the end reactions have been imported to help design the connections. You can see that there are triangles on certain ends of my stick lines and the triangles represent moment connections so you can see which moment have been transferred across. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this one beam that has a moment connection on it. I see that since the moment did come across, I do have it set to a clip angle. And then if I go into my moment, you'll see that it's set to a bolted moment. And then taking a look down at my loads, I can see that in my shear load, it's set to 13.7 on my left end and 21.6 was transferred on my right end. Moving down to the moment load, it brought over 608.4 kip inches on my left end and 1954.1 .1 on my right end. I did have 0.1 set for my threshold for my axial load. So I do see on my tension, it came over at 0.1 on my left end and on my compression, 0.1 transferred on my right end.